Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Brenda Perryman Show right here on TV 33, WHPR, Comcast 90 and 91 in Detroit, Oakland County, Livingston County, and so forth. Well, this is Channel 90 in Oakland County, but 91, 24 hours, 24 hours seven in Detroit and I have a wonderful show for you today plus a lot of variety but as is one of our customs we always do meet the dentist so get your dental questions out and we'll be going to the dentist in just a moment but just one reminder the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is a week from this Sunday if you haven't gotten your tickets please come up here and get your tickets it's going to be at the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History. I bought my tickets a month ago because I'm excited. They're honoring so many people, but of course they're honoring Mr. R.J. Watkins, Mr. Henry Tyler, and Marvin Willis. They're all affiliated with the station, and Marvin it was part of the Emeralds, and they wrote uh, he was one of the writers of Float On, and we talked about it yesterday. I had him on here yesterday, he and Dune, uh, James Mitchell, on yesterday. So I'm real excited about this because they have uh, Aretha Franklin. All of these people are going to be honored. I'm not saying they'll all be there, but we'll be there. I know. You know, Aretha is singing for the Pope today. No, I think it's tomorrow or something. Regardless, she's singing for, for the Pope. I'm glad they didn't ask me to sing for the Pope, because I'd have to rap. Anyway, good morning, and let us let me get to my guest. <laughs> okay, Dr. Ronald and Dr. Blake Livingston, and Dr. Blake Livingston is a new father. Thank you. You're Thank a new, you. grandfather. Yep, new grandfather. What's your daughter's name? Uh, Vivian. Vivian. Yep. Wow. Yep, I'm very excited. How much did she weigh? Eight pounds, six ounces. Wow. Yep. She's about 10, 11 days old. I know. Yep. I look at you. You're looking <laughs> like a daddy now. You used to look like a little boy. Now you look like a daddy. <laughs> well, along with that comes responsibility. That's right. And um, um, one young man I know, his daughter is like uh, 16, and yesterday he posted that a young man came to him and asked him could he take his daughter to the homecoming. And he said he started sweating and palpitating. <laughs> and he doesn't know what to do. He hasn't given the boy an answer yet. He was just so stunned. But along with girls come boys. Yeah, I hear that. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, a lot of new things are happening on the dental field and a lot of good things for our audience, too. That's right. So let's talk about Let's start off talking about them. And if you have some dental questions, please call the station. Get that free dental advice now. That's true. All right. Well, uh, there's a couple things coming out now that uh, October 1st is going to be Healthy Kids Dental. Um, what's happening is in 80 counties throughout the state of Michigan, Delta Dental is taking over for Medicaid for people under the age of 21. So on It's taking over for Medicaid? That's right. Now, De does Medicaid, on the, on the dental, does Medicaid have a dental component? They do, but the coverage is uh, less than stellar for the dentists. Okay, okay. so... The, with the Delta Dental taking over that and, and roll, uh, rolling out this Healthy Kids Dental Plan, anyone under the age of 21 who's on Medicaid will be getting a new card that's, that says Healthy Kids Dental and has a Delta, Delta Dental ID number on it, and it'll expand their uh, options of where they can go to receive treatment, including our office, and um, expand the, the options of treatment that they can get. That's what I was going to ask you. What kind of treatment can these young people get? It's pretty much everything that you could possibly need. I was really surprised looking at the coverage table, the type of things that they cover. I mean, you know, they don't cover cosmetic dentistry. They don't cover braces, but they do cover uh, exams, x-rays, cleanings, fluoride, sealants, fillings, um, space maintainers, which is something that we put on kids' teeth when they lose a tooth and we need to save the space for the permanent tooth. Uh, partials, dentures. Really? Let's hope we don't have to make any dentures for anybody under the age of 21, but you know, I would, I stuff would happens. I hope not. They're eating a lot of candy. <laughs> a lot of candy. You see it sometimes. But, uh, so, that's a, that's going to be a big change. That's going to be expand the options for p where people can receive treatment and what kind of treatment they can receive. Okay, let's go over this really quickly again. Sure. 
where can my um, viewers uh, well anybody who's enrolled in Medicaid is under the age of 21 should be receiving a new and they live in Wayne or Oakland County should be receiving a new card with the Delta dental ID number on it okay um, I do have a phone number though actually let me give you a phone number um, <laughs> and this this uh, goes into effect October 1st yep right? October 1st so which is a few days that's, away that's coming right up because what's the date 24th 25th um, there's a number for customer service for Delta Dental for Healthy Kids Dental is 1-800-482-8915 I'll repeat that that's 1-800-482-8915 and that's the number for customer service for Healthy Kids Dental which is replacing kids Medicaid in Wayne and Oakland County well that is fabulous because Absolutely. it's nothing like having being able to set up some dental appointments for children Absolutely. and the young people because the so sometimes people don't go because they can't afford it that's right and they they're you know they're afraid of the dentist so they don't take their kid to go see the dentist but you know what needs to be emphasized is that if you have teeth you need to go to the dentist why what do you think if, if you don't have teeth you need to go see the <laughs> yeah <laughs> and get some teeth right, well, there you um, go. but why do you think people are so afraid of the dentist dentist well, let, let, let me I've been a dentist for 34 years and I've seen the changes that have occurred uh, over the last 34 years. And a lot of it is based on people who have had uh, bad experiences back in the old days. Today, the kids nowadays, they don't care. I mean, matter, matter of fact, they want to come to the dentist. They want braces. They want all these things to, be, to, to have. They see their friends get it. They want to get it too. And they're in need of it. Uh, you don't want them missing school. You don't want them staying up at night because they have dental problems. And those dental problems can lead to other problems. So I think that's pretty much a, a more of a media type thing where it's old school where it's it's fun to say oh the dentist hurts or something is like getting a root canal that's not true anymore i say if, if it was that bad we wouldn't be dentists so <laughs> you know who would do that if it if it lived up to the hype of what the media always portrays as dental care well which, which causes a lot of people to have problems because in the musical say, little shop of horrors the dentist was a. Uh, I mean, he was a sadist, man. Well, I mean, if you, if, you, if you notice, you never, ever, ever see a positive portrayal of a dentist in the media, ever, about anything. Oh, and, well, we're and, giving you one. No, I well, mean, you are, but I'm saying in the, in the general right. media, I mean, if there's a dental story, it's a negative including, story. Including uh, the guy in Minnesota who shot the lion or whatever. <laughs> oh, and, I forgot about But Cecil. why is he portrayed constantly as the dentist who mm -hmm. shot the lion? Why not the hunter who shot the lion? I mean, you know, his dental career had nothing to do with his desire to hunt the dentist. What if he's an accountant? Would it be every every two seconds the accountant shot a lion? I mean, that's crazy. I don't know. Not only that, I mean, personally, I mean, I'm more concerned about people than I am about a lion, but I mean, you know. Yeah, but I, I, the only reason I asked you that, when I was a little girl, I mm -hmm. lived right off Dexter on a street called Hogarth, mm -hmm. and on Dexter, between Hogarth and Whitney, was Dr. Nash. He was the dentist. Mm -hmm. And so we'd walk around there. And from the very beginning, I mean, he wasn't doing anything to me, but everybody was holding me down. I was kicking and screaming. I don't know why. Well, also because people always, people never tell you about the good experience they had at the dentist. They tell you about the bad experience they had at the dentist. So the, the perception that you have is that the dentist is going to be bad. It's going to be scary. But it's it, gonna things hurt. are different now. Oh, yeah. Things are different now. We have different technology. We have different anesthetics. We have different techniques. I mean, you know, things are dramatically different than they were even 20 years ago. And uh, you want some, you want some pain? Go to your medical doctor. I mean, how many people will go to their medical doctor and have all types of tests or be in the hospital? It's not a day at the beach. Uh, I just uh, witnessed a uh, baby being born. Uh, that's no fun. Were you, were you in there? I was, He was in there. He cut, I mean, we were there, but he was. He cut the cord and he was in there doing the delivery. But I mean, people don't kind of take going to their physician with it being painful, but they got some stuff for you, too. So. Right, 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 right. Now, there's some other things that are coming up, Dr. Ron, right. aren't there? Well, there's uh, another. We were speaking about the plans that are, and this is a kind of important because it's getting to be to the end of the year, and people want to use their benefits before they lose them because most of these insurance plans is use it or lose it. It doesn't roll over. So now is the time you want to get, especially we have patients that need extractions and then have to heal and want to get other procedures done. So that takes a couple weeks or months. So they want to utilize their dental insurance benefits before the year is out. Uh, it's like Dr. Blake was saying, there's also a, a Medicare Advantage program called Tri-State Advantage, also through Delta Dental, for the seniors, what, 64 and up? Yep, that's uh, anybody who qualified for the Healthy Michigan Plan, which covers people from the age of 19 to 64. Um, 
Once you turn 64, they kick you off of that healthy Michigan plan. But now there's an alternative plan for people over the age of 64 called the Tri-State Advantage through Delta Dental. So if you have Medicare... Um, now that's for, if you have Medicare. That's if you're over the age of 64 and you have Medicare, yes. Okay. Um, and then there's... And not if there's you a, have Medicaid? Well, once you get over 64, you're covered by Medicare, not Medicaid. You slipped oh. over into Medicare. Oh. So... Okay. Um, you wouldn't know nothing about that. <laughs> when you're... <laughs> <laughs> so when you turn 64 and you no longer qualify for Healthy Michigan or for Medicaid, there is a dental plan for you. It's called Tri-State Advantage through Delta Dental, and it covers a great majority of the procedures that most people need. Um, it covers the same things that the Healthy Michigan plan covers, which would provide people with the ability to get you know all their exams, cleanings, x-rays, uh, fillings, extractions, partials, dentures, oh. at no cost to the patient. Right. Wow, that's amazing. And we're seeing patients every day who are coming in. They've had old dentures. A denture lasts you about five years. After that, it loses its fit because the gums and the bones shrink. Uh, so we're seeing patients that have dentures that are 10, 15 years old. Didn't have them replaced because they didn't have the uh, financial resources or the coverage to get that done. We have patients coming in now who are getting their new dentures at no cost out of their pocket. You are zero kidding. Copay, zero uh, partials, dentures, zero. And I want to mention that with this Medicare, this is a Medicare Advantage program, and there are other dental ones. There's a... Um, Blue Cross Advantage and uh, a couple other ones, but from what I've seen, the Tri-State Advantage through Delta Dental covers more than any of those other pers uh, plans cover. That's why I emphasize this one in particular. But this one has just started uh, maybe a couple months ago, so it's not as popular as some of the other plans, but the coverage is significantly better. How are they letting people know, these seniors know? You know, I couldn't even find anything on the Internet about it. I, this is information that I got from a you Delta heard Dental representative. First, <laughs> yeah, you was, heard it here first, everybody. You heard it here first. This is tough information to find. But here's a, there's a number that I found for Delta Dental customer services, 1-800-521-2651. Give them a call and see if they can give you any information. Otherwise, talk to your... Um, Talk to who you deal with for your Medicare, your representative, and see if they can give you any information about that plan. Because this is a true plan. And this yes. is a true plan, and this it'll give blessing. you the coverage that you need. And um, and it, honestly, I I can't express enough how great this is. for Because I've seen a lot of people, we have a lot of people with Healthy Michigan Plan who are trying to get work done, but they're 63. Oh, I'm turning 64 in three months, and I, don't, I need to get all this work done right now. Well, we can only get half of it done, and then now you're 64, and they kicked you off the plane. What if there's someone who's watching us right now who has a uh, toothache? Can they call your office and maybe get seen? Yeah. Well, I don't know if they'll be able to get seen today. Maybe. We'll what see. We <laughs> Wait a minute. There's nothing worse than a toothache, a bad toothache. That's true. That's I mean, true. a bad toothache. I talked to somebody the other day. She said she was putting salve on her thing, and it wasn't working anymore. I said, that only works for a minute anyway. Yeah, that'll just I remove mean, the pain for what a minute. If, I mean, and you're saying she has to go through the whole weekend, or somebody would have to go through the whole weekend? Well, we'd have to see them. You know, they'd have to call us, and we could see what we can do. You know, that's all we can we can, exp we can explain to them what they need to have done and uh, see what we can do for them. They can give us a call. Because there's yeah. nothing worse than a toothache. Yeah, well, that's true. I don't know. Having that baby. Oh, please. I've had three. <laughs> they were, I had three. It was a piece of cake. Okay, there's like three toothaches. Well, if no, someone it, wanted to... If no, someone the toothache wanted to, was worse than childbirth. <laughs> if someone wanted to reach us, the phone number is 313-883-3050 to our office. We're on Woodward, two blocks north of the Davison in Highland Park. And there's someone there now to answer the phone if you are... If your tooth is hurting you right now. <laughs> what is the... Um, the minimum age you should take a child to the dentist as soon as a child has teeth wow. so that could be i mean some people are some babies are born with teeth <laughs> but those are na those are natal <laughs> teeth these little right. babies. those I are natal it. teeth and those usually fall out so right. uh but six months is usually when uh babies start getting their first why teeth. so early because if you have a tooth you can get a cavity on it right and babies are drinking milk all day people put them to bed with a bottle which is you That's should not terrible. do that. Because there's sugar in there. Right? That's right. And um, they put juice in the bottle. They put they juice in the bottle and people are laying and babies are laying there with the bottles and then we see something called baby bottle rot and it's just it, the front teeth are all destroyed. Baby bottle rot? Yeah. Where the front teeth are destroyed because the nipple of the bottle is sitting in the front teeth and the baby's laying there and just bathing their teeth in sugar. And we also see uh, two with uh, sippy cups. Yep. Uh, 
people like to use those sippy cups and what happens is that that opening to that cup goes on the inside of the upper front teeth and it decays up under there and the parents don't see it because it's not visible right away but as soon as we go in there we can see decay is starting on the upper front teeth so so be careful with the sippy cups also wow i, I bet a lot of but, people didn't think that right, that's right, right. But i want to mention one thing too about that uh medicare advantage Tri-State Advantage plan, it's also possible to just call our office and we can go online and go on a computer and put your information in and, and pull it up and see if you're already covered. Because I said, like Dr. Blake said before, if you, once you crossed over into Medicare, you had no dental insurance. You weren't covered. And all of a sudden, I mean, this is a blessing. This is another advantage of Obamacare, which, you know, I don't know how anybody can not uh, like Obamacare. He's given the people what we should have had forever. That's health care is a right. You know, just like water and air is, you got to have health care. Yes. And the only people who are against it are the ones that have a big, nice health care plan in their back pocket, so they're against right. it. But they they don't interact with uh, the average person who has a, uh, doesn't have that ability and that advantage and that entitlement and that privilege. We so, don't always have that. So, so well, tell the audience why it's so important to have teeth. What I'm saying is I see a lot of people who go around with no teeth in their mouth, and mm -hmm. they, you know, they kind of chew, or, mm -hmm. well, whatever, with their gums. Yeah, the news cameras seem to seek them out, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's always, I mean, the, the, your, the oral cavity is the first part of your digestive system, and if that's not properly functioning, how can the rest of your digestive system function? And I have plenty of people tell me, oh, I don't have teeth, and I chew fine, and it's no issue. But really what will happen is what do they, chew? Uh, well, they the mash their food. food up with the tongue, with their tongue on the roof of their mouth. But that's really not breaking down your food the way that it needs to be broken down so it can be digested properly. And what I see with a lot of people who are totally edentulous and have been that way for a while is they all have heartburn. They all have GI issues, you know, constipation, diarrhea, whatever, all the time because their food's not being broken down properly. Um, and, and that can really be a problem if you have other issues such as diabetes, high blood pressure, that type of thing. You have to maintain a healthy diet to stay healthy. And if you're not chewing your food properly, you're not going to digest your food properly, and you're not going to get the nutrients. So you will see people who will be overweight and they don't have teeth, but that's because a, a system of they're not uh, metabolizing their food and, their, and uh, the nutrients. So you can swallow food, but it doesn't mean you're digesting it properly. And it's easy to eat ice cream when you don't have teeth. <laughs> oh, it's easy to eat ice cream when you don't have teeth. And it tastes better when you have teeth. You can chew it up properly. Your taste buds can taste that food and enjoy chew. it better. Well, also, you know, you see issues with your jaw is only supposed to close a certain amount. You know, it hits where the teeth meet. Yeah. When you're missing teeth completely, your jaw yes. will come up under, you know, your lower jaw will come up over that top one almost. And over time, that will cause pain in the TMJ joint. I mean, arthritic changes in that joint. Yep. Right? And that's no fun either. Not being able to open and close without constant pain. If you have teeth that are there, whether it be a denture or a partial or whatever, to help prevent that. Well, I'm telling you, these programs make it so much simpler to just go oh, yeah. to the dentist. Absolutely. Right. And, Absolutely. And buy some teeth. You don't I even mean, have to I'm, buy them. You, oh, you, <laughs> you are well, receiving you know, them. Yeah, <laughs> right. Receive, I mean, but this is a benefit. I mean, you pay taxes. You're supposed to have certain things. This is your money. This is the money that you pay, to pay in taxes for all these years, and, and things were kept from you. Now you're going to receive these benefits. And, but it's a situation like it always is in policy, so you either use it or lose it. If people right. don't utilize it, they'll take it away. So don't and they'll, they'll use it as an excuse and say, oh, we gave, it, we gave people these things, and they didn't use it, so we just took it away from them. And then yeah, them. that is true, That's very true. much right. so. If they don't see you using it, they will they'll take it, it away. Well, hopefully the Pope talking to Congress yesterday will uh, get them to – get some compassion for people because what did you think of the pope well they said that uh ted cruz said he's not gonna cause a shutdown right. of the government after t after the pope spoke to him so we'll see what happens i don't know i mean i liked what he said i mean it's i good. like the pope yeah, i like I the pope too. too well this uh, country needs revival so hopefully this will lead to that yeah right right uh, right he just uh there's a lot of conflict and a lot of uh uh people just being obstinate and it's it's damaging the country and damaging the people so we need to have uh Need to have people come together and 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 uh, turn back to God. I know, I know. Well, being Catholic myself, I've Me always too. had this. You know, we always put the Pope oh, up yeah, here and there, right. but this Pope, he he seems a little different. 
Oh, yeah. He yeah, seems absolutely. humble. Did you see his shoes? Yeah, and he was carrying his own bags. Yeah, and his was... shoes are like work sh- work shoes. Yeah. Yeah. They're d- thick soles. They have they, those they red they were... Gucci's. No. <laughs> I th- I Darnell just walked in. They may be like Darnell. Oh, no. He, Darnell wears Gucci. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. No, I just <laughs> and he rolled around in a Fiat, a little Fiat. Right. He was fi- oh, oh Fiat got a lot of play. Oh, has has oh, yeah. Fiat gotten a lot of play? Yeah. That's an Italian car maker, so. But that, uh, I think... He's, he's a humble man, and here again, he is for the people, just like President Obama is for the people. That's why things or people are getting the benefits and the health care and the things that they need because he's for the people. Let's not change that. Let's keep that going. Right. Let's not change but that. We have, we have to work for that and keep it. I know. I just I found myself, I was at home, and I found myself clapping. You know, just yeah. little things. When he went over to the little black girl in the wheelchair. Oh, yeah. I mean, I just, <laughs> everything. Yeah. I have been right. giving this man standing ovation since he arrived. Well, when I saw the plane in the sky over Washington, I was like, oh. He's a man of the people. I know. and But you think about, he has only one lung. Oh, really? really? One lung. Hmm. And he's an older man. Well, he's and he has a lot of energy. Yeah, he he's sure going does. strong all day, every I don't know day. How he does? It's like a, a lot of coffee or something. Cause he's flying all over the place and, and yeah. meet with all these and people and speaking and for extended periods of time. And I all know. That, you know. Good for and him. You know, I, you know, two days in a row he mentioned Martin Luther King. Oh, I didn't know. Two days, the first day, and then yesterday up above uh, before Congress. Oh, good. Um, I don't know. There's something about him. Something about him. But anyway, back to the teeth. And he seems to have nice teeth because yeah. he was smiling at the people. That's I why said, he has all that energy. He can chew his food. He can chew his food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, if somebody calls your office right now, mm-hmm. are they able to talk to somebody yes, in there? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And if they want to, the number is 313-883-3050. Somebody's there now to talk to you and answer your questions. Look at these are lowers. That's cool. right. Oh, okay. That's an implant, actually. This is an implant? An implant denture uh, that we we make. We oh. can place implants into the lower jaw. So you put screws in the jaw? Well, they're titanium implants. They're not actual screws from Home Depot, but they <laughs> they are titanium implants that are surgically placed in the jaw. And then we make a special denture that uh, has attachments, and it actually clips onto those implants. And uh, patients love these. We do these all the time. It creates uh, a situation now where patients can comfortably eat and uh, not have that lower denture move around. The lower denture is the one that's always the problem denture for patients. Really? Yes, because yeah. a lower denture is a horseshoe shape, and it rests on the on the uh, jawbone, and there's no suction on that. Where an upper denture, it goes across the roof of the mouth. We get good suction. You usually don't have that issue with the upper denture. But the lower denture is reliant on the muscles of the lips and tongue and floor of the mouth to keep it in place. Wow. And the lower jaw does all the work if you stop and think about it. The lower jaw is the one that does all the movement. The upper jaw is just sitting there stationary, and the lower oh, jaw moves against true. it. that is true. Yeah. And it also has true. the tongue that, as you speak, it wants to bang into it. So if you have a, a small ridge, a, low, a, a short ridge on your jaw, then there's not much for that denture to hang on to. And I'll say this. If your teeth aren't right, they impede your speech. That's correct. Absolutely. Yeah. That you could always tell when you're listening to somebody. Say if you're listening to the radio and somebody's calling in, you right. could always tell the ones who might not have any teeth. Right, and teeth, you know, the, it's not just speech and diet. It's also, uh, you know, your confidence and your your pride and everything like that. You know, you, people, people, first thing they see when they look at you is your smile or your eyes. Right, one right, other. right. <laughs> Do we have a call? Uh? But um, it's it's... It's, it's very important also, too, in terms of maintaining your teeth is to keep the gum disease away. We see a lot of patients over the age of 40 years old on up, they start to develop some stage of gum disease where they're concerned about that. And that is about the number one, that is the number one uh, cause of tooth loss in adults. And it's, it's a shame because it can be easily treated in early stages, and we can save your teeth. And you don't have to go this route then. <laughs> wow. Well, one last thing. Mm-hmm. For dentures that people have to use like polygrip or polydent? That's an excellent question. Um, and when they lose the retention, usually, if, like I say, that comes from deterioration of the jawbone, the upper or the lower, usually on the lower, and uh, patients will have to use that as a kind of adhesive or a glue to hold that denture in place. It's kind of messy. It's kind of a hassle uh, to constantly use that and uh, have to utilize it every day. Implants eliminate that 
so you'll never have to use adhesive once okay. you get Okay. We have a killer on the line before we um, go. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Just fine, fine. Good. You always look so beautiful. Wow. Thank you so much. And your hair is always so pretty. Thank you. Goodness. <laughs> uh, we, uh, do you have a question for the dentist? Thank you so much. You have a question because we're getting ready to move. Okay, I just have a comment. This is Wanda Kilo. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Kilo. I just want to call in and give a shout out to my new dentist. I was just there yesterday. <laughs> oh, okay. And I want to encourage everyone to visit them over um, in uh, on Woodward in Highland Park. The oh. services are excellent. The facility is uniquely clean. The uh, all of the uh, workers there are very pleasant. So if you need dental work, and they will educate you while they are uh, working on on your um, on your mouth. So I encourage everyone to support them. Yes. Um, located right here in Highland Park, and I just want to give them a shout out and tell them thank you. Thank well, you, Akila. Thank you. We appreciate it. We really thank appreciate you. that. Thank she's, you. She's a beautiful lady. Let me tell you that you will see you soon as well. All right. Oh, oh great. <laughs> thank great. You. Great. Thank you. We really thank appreciate you. you. Well, thank we're you. Gonna make it a, we're going to make it a family up there because, like you say, your teeth are not becoming to you, then you should be coming to you. <laughs> That's right. Oh, wow, boy. Hey, you're, you're hey the check was in the mail. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Levy says, thank you, Akila. Thank you, Akila. Thank you, and we'll be back in just a moment. That phone number again? The phone number is 313-883-3050. Wow. And we'll be back in just a moment with some Highland Parkers. All right. All right. Thank you. 